Well, making sure your new company takes off requires passion and dedication. That's the viewpoint of Arvind Sahani, Executive Vice President of Intel and President of Intel Capital. I spoke to him about starting new businesses and Intel's strategy for Asia. Uh, Asia is a major focus area, and China in particular is a, is a huge focus for us. Uh, we have a very large team in China, uh, and, and it's uh, driven by the fact that uh, Asia is where we are experiencing uh, the fastest growth. Uh, China is our largest uh, market for our products, uh, and so obviously, uh, you know, it's an area of uh, major, major focus and importance for us. If my producer and I decide to move to China tomorrow and we want to start up a, a technology company, what kind of company should we start up to someday ask Intel for venture capital money? Yeah, so for example, uh, some of the hottest areas are e-commerce. Uh, as more and more people in China uh, buy their goods and services online, e-commerce companies are doing extremely well, and that, that would be one area that, uh, that, is, uh, uh, that, that, that I would, uh, we are investing in very, very aggressively. Uh, cloud computing, another area, uh, very big, very important. Uh, part of the national uh, national project uh, I in China, uh, consumer internet, all kinds of services, all kinds of uh, networks are are coming up uh, in China that are uh, extremely valuable. Uh, software and services, uh, China is uh, increasingly focusing and growing engineers, educating engineers. Uh, that are going to become software engineers, so uh, huge opportunities there. We talked to a number of folks who invest in China, and of course we talk about the challenges and the opportunities, but one of the challenges that's going to be unique to you is that a lot of these companies are, are sort of newer companies. They're not quite as established yet. S some may call it startups, but you're in the VC business, and so the level of communications between management and, in, in your case, investors is extremely important. Give us uh, an idea and share with us some of the challenges that you face uh, looking at overseas investments, and not necessarily just only in China, but really investments all around the world. These are risky companies. You know, they are uh, they are going to have uh, high high uh, failure rates in in startup companies. Where what we do is we help these companies with uh, technology. We help them with understanding the marketplace. We make uh, introductions to likely customers. Uh, we help them with uh, uh, governance. Uh, how to manage a company, how to hire people, how to run the company, uh, and, and ultimately how to go public or sell themselves to uh, an eventual M&A uh, acquirer. But most of our companies in that part of the world usually go, uh, go public. Pretend you don't work for Intel for just a moment and you were an advisor to these different venture capital firms from around the world that are looking at investing in China. What type of advice would you give them when it comes to conducting due diligence? Uh, at, at the stage at which we invest, the management is the most critical element. Uh, then the second is uh, uh, you have to have passion for what you're doing. Uh, you know, without the passion and without the hard work to bring a product to market and making sure that it's successful, and, and by passion I mean really believing in what, it, what you are doing and putting in 18-hour, 20-hour work days to make it happen, and you have to have a team that's uh, focused and aligned with you. And then it's very important to do the other stuff like uh, having the best practices, making sure that all the things that you do are, are following the best global and international standards and practices so that investors like us can feel comfortable uh, investing in them.